Speaking of forecasting, we have a really wonderful Gaia Dempsey here who's currently leading Metaculous um, and she's doing a really fantastic job at this um, and has been doing really, really fun forecasting tournaments. And recently she's been more collaborating with uh, Deja here from AI Objectives Institute. So they're going to tell you perhaps a little bit more on uh, governance uh, um, in the age of AI and perhaps some forecasting spits as well. Okay. Thank you, Allison. In the spirit of uh, XHOPE, uh, we decided to, to focus the talk today on uh, more in the, in the direction of governance and, as Michael, you were saying earlier, what do we have agency over rather than just sort of saying, what are our timelines and, you know, what, and the end of story. Um, if you're interested in Metaculus's current AI timelines, you can definitely visit Metaculus and check them out. There's tons of different forecasting questions and there's a, a few great write-ups out there. Uh, but for today, uh, I want to introduce Dier. Dier is um, leading the AI Objectives Institute, which was founded by Peter Eckersley, who many of you um, may, may have known. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit today about some, uh, a concept for using LLMs and forecasting together to inform AI policy. Yes. So. So we're trying to solve AI alignment without having really solved human alignment on a human scale. Aligned to what? We see existential risk as a failure to coordinate at the face of a collective crisis. And tooling on co coordination and collaboration is extremely critical in this window. So at the AI Objectives Institute, what we are interested in is building coordination tooling that can help AI align AIs to a better state along with, as a byproduct, building tooling that can be used for general coordination scale. So one of the experiments that we have is um, we ask a series of scenario modeling questions to AI researchers in labs and in academia. These questions are such as, um, should the government bring a licensing requirement for anyone that wants to purchase more than 10 GPUs? Um, these questions are qualitative in nature. And this is a jump that we are confident that AI systems are good at which is being able to go through, say, 50,000 or 500 million open-ended opinions and aggregate what are viewpoints that seem similar to each other. It's not AI systems building policy. It is AI systems giving an ability for a wide range of humans to be able to collectively coordinate on what are forecasts, what are failure modes that we see. So we are building a range of large language models that can simulate a town hall discussion that is emergent from the data here. Um, these distinct viewpoints range from uh, ability to be able to debug your own thinking by interacting with different viewpoints that exist here. You can simulate discussions between these different viewpoints as exist in the community to be able to understand what are different cruxes on any debate. We are using to be able to understand and bring a level of collective sense making to the AI alignment community as a whole for everyone has their own worries and opinions. I have opinions on what others are thinking as well. Can we create clear visibility so that we can actually agree on what the opinions are in the entirety of the landscape end to end? And these will be useful for a human interface for us to understand a collective at scale. So what can we do with these? Um, this turns into a cluster of concepts that could be very useful for a more structured exercise on forecasting. Awesome. So to connect the dots to forecasting, some of the forecasting work that we've been doing recently, we've been finding that as we're using forecasting to inform policy conversations, policymakers tend to think in terms of bigger picture ideas and scenarios, whereas forecasters tend to think in very specific measurable metrics. And so these two systems don't all, always have the easiest time interacting. Um, so to give an example, a concrete example we recently ran a workshop uh, bringing together subject matter experts in uh, national security, uh, uh, nuclear risk, um, energy, um, a bunch of different areas together with forecasters. And we talked about different scenarios for how the war in Ukraine um, could play out over the next two years. And so what the policy making, the closer someone is to being a policy advisor of policy side, uh, they want to really stay at this level of scenarios. What's going to happen? How can I, how can I influence the, the ultimate outcome? Whereas uh, when, we're, when we want to actually be able to measure something specific and, and, and use forecasting to actually sense the environment to predict future trends, we need to be more specific than that. So these workshops that we're running basically connect the dots between scenarios, 
indicators, which are clusters of metrics, and then specific forecasting metrics. And Dayer and I are brainstorming ways to bring this methodology into the AI, AI alignment policy space. As navel gazing as it may be, we think building better AI alignment systems with current human coordination capability will yield better AI alignment and will yield better tooling for us to be able to align ourselves better as well. So. Wow. Yeah. Woo. Woo.